With another incident of teens causing chaos in Morgan Hill, one could face charges in Santa Clara County Juvenile Hall. Police say when the suspect stole a van and went on an apparent joyride with friends, then led police on a chase around town. The latest of two incidents involving teens that have kept Morgan Hill police chasing them. Action News reporter Sierra Starks has our top story live from Morgan Hill. Yeah, good evening, Dan. So not only have these incidents kept police busy, but they have neighbors wondering exactly what's going on in their town. This leftover fragment of a light pole is what remains after an apparent teenage joyride turned into this on Sunday evening in Morgan Hill. Police say a male teenager stole a van from Live Oak High School and drove away with three female teenagers as passengers. One of the females was eventually dropped off because she says she was scared, which prompted a call to alert police. Thus began a chase around town, ending at Yagas Road and Del Monte just before 8 p.m. Sunday with a crash into a light pole and fire hydrant. Police say three teenagers were taken to the hospital. I've never heard of anything that's been that dramatic as it was in the last couple of days. Sunday's police chase and crash follows Friday's violent brawl at the Britton Middle School Carnival which was canceled after an arrest resulted in an all-out fight between a number of teenagers and police. The neighbors we talked to say it's been a scary and unusual weekend of events for Morgan Hill. They hope it's, quote, short-lived. We always grew up with knowing that authority has to be respected, and misusing that or, or going against authority has its consequences. And quite frankly, things have changed a little bit nowadays and I'm baffled as to why that is the way it is. Now the three teenagers taken to the hospital are expected to be okay. And once the driver is released from the hospital, he does uh, is expected to face charges at juvenile hall, which include evading arrest and child endangerment. Dan. Thank you, Sierra. Meantime, the eight teenagers in connection with Friday's incident at the middle school carnival, they've been booked into the Santa Clara County Juvenile Hall. Charges range from possession of a knife on school grounds to assault on a police officer and inciting a riot.